Yo, what is good y'all? It's your boy Grateful back here today with another video. Shadow Ben Grateful here today. Now, I don't know how well this video is gonna do. Obviously, right now I'm pretty sure I'm Shadow Ben. I'm trying to work myself back into the algorithm with really daily videos and stuff like that. I'm gonna be doing daily videos for the foreseeable future, at least right now, because I record multiple a day, so I do get days off here and there. But so today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to set up on my MBA. Now I've made videos like this in the past, but they've been shorter videos. They've been cut up. They've been all that type of stuff. This is just a full tutorial on how, on how to set up your my MBA for MBA 2K24. You know, everything's been fixed at this point. Hopefully it's late January, so it should be. It's pretty late in, or not late in the cycle, but it's like halfway through the 2K cycle. So let's just get straight into it. So my MBA right here, obviously you go in and I'm going to be doing a start today and I'm just going to show you guys how I, how I set it up. Now you guys could do whatever era that you want. Um, it's kind of like the same setup for each one, to be honest with you. There's nothing really too different with uh, the eras and all that type of stuff. So let's just go into modern era. Let's do a modern one. I'm gonna show y'all how I set it up personally. And yeah, if this cutscene will load. We can just run into it right away. But yeah, let me know if you guys are liking the daily videos. Obviously, you know, my videos are doing very well right now, but I'm gonna work through it. Um, basically for CBA rules, by the way, I turn off stepping rule, I turn off 30, 60, 30, 60, 90 day, just cause it just makes the game a lot better. I don't know, like they're like real rules, but I don't know, I, I just like it more. But and start from, start today. But yeah, like I said, if you guys are liking the videos, let me know, pick like a random team just to do it. But yeah, we're gonna keep doing daily videos and just keep bringing y'all, um, videos in general just to do and all that type of good stuff so for to start today it should be updated hopefully this is how i set up drafts by the way going to user created top one should be the 2024 one boom get that out the way right there this should be the updated one i'm pretty sure terry rosier just got traded yeah he did so terry rosier just got traded to the heat i don't even know what what they got back i don't think they i think they got back like probably some draft capital or some shit uh, i don't really know but yeah they got back kyle lowry i guess but yeah he was just traded Dejounte murray might get traded soon you know there's a lot of stuff going on in the nba right now um especially because it's around the trade deadline so if you want other things to edit with the my nba settings is right here you can really edit everything if you want to edit quarter length if you want to turn injuries off, if you want to edit your difficulty, your sliders, you know, there's a lot of sliders in here. Basically, it, it is what it says it is, if that makes sense. Uh, rule changes, like you could turn off rule changes. Like, you know, it, it is what it says it is. For trading, you could use the trade finder or proposed trade. Like, let's see, what would the pick, or what would the trade for Dejounte Murray be like right now? I mean, kind of realistic to be honest, but I feel like the Hawks are probably going to blow the whole team up and probably end up trading Trey Young at some point. So, yeah, I mean, this is kind of realistic, to to be honest with you. Jared Allen is an interesting one. They always put Jared Allen up here. Hami Hawkins is up to a, to a 81. I'm pretty sure he's been balling in real life. Haven't really... Like, I've been on and off watching basketball, if that makes sense. Like, I don't really watch basketball every single night. I'm kind of like a casual, to be honest with you guys. Um, but, yeah, you know, you get Laurie, you get all this stuff... That's how you trade, basically, if you don't want to, you know, make your own trades. Sometimes I make my own trades here and there. Like, let's say, I'll just do an example for the video. So, let's say if I really want to get rid of DeJounte Murray, but, you know, I want to make a realistic type trade. I think a realistic type trade would probably be, like, where's the most realistic debt? Like, I, I'm pretty sure that it's, like, D'Angelo Russell or something might get traded for him. So, it'd be, like, D'Angelo Russell and this i don't know how to fix this with this option i haven't been able to do it all year so if you guys do have a fix for you know the pick can't be used let me know in the comments it's like the one thing that i don't know how to fix i'm just finding somebody to trade with real quick though because i want to make like kind of a realistic trade just for the video so let's say that's not realistic they have so many guards brooklyn not going to brooklyn no way Pacers, no, nah, they have Halliburton, but they, mm, no, nah, they have Matherin and Heald. I don't think they'd do that. Or actually, I mean, they probably could. I don't think the Hawks are going to ask for too much, but they could probably get back a couple picks, like, you know, protected pick, 
you know two unprotected picks this isn't horrible like this isn't really like the super realistic trade obviously i'm just making one up on the spot for the video very quickly but you know getting two picks back and buddy healed on an expiring so you could basically start off fresh for an expire or he did sign a new deal so a dejounte murray basically and then they're gonna counter offer it wesley matthews yeah who cares we'll just throw him in so boom made my own trade right there let's say if i want to trade trey young because they're probably gonna end up doing it you got to find somebody with high salary so maybe he goes to where's a realistic destination for him i don't really know I'm trying to think i mean if i'm thinking about like one it could be the sixers to be honest with you like if i'm not really tweaking too much probably won't happen in real life let's be honest because they're gonna ask for an abundance of picks for them like they're gonna ask for so many picks for them so it's gonna be like yeah it's not gonna happen maybe maybe they just pull this off or they just say no oh, never mind never mind are they no they're not gonna get back that much but yeah you guys get what i'm saying i don't know why i'm trying to go off into trades and all this type of stuff in this video but yeah y'all get what i'm saying with this this is how it's set up in my nba basically how i do it personally i used to make rebuilding videos last year might go back to making those here and there not every day type uh vibe but yeah let me know if y'all have any questions in the comments i still get questions on the nba 2k23 one that is currently the best performing video on my channel hopefully not for too long but obviously i'm gonna keep getting out the videos i'm gonna like i'm on the content grind right now even though that it isn't paying off i know it'll pay off in the future and i'm gonna try and get the quality better and better on these type of videos so yeah it's been your boy grateful and i'm out peace